we filmed with the teams who reveal the most unwelcome restaurant guests. So there's adult cockroaches, nymph cockroaches and casings. In terms of cleaning, you've also got an infestation of cockroaches. From floor to ceiling, council inspectors are facing a rise in dirty kitchens. The flooring's disgusting. When was the last time they cleaned the floor? Go, have a look under this. Needs a cleaning. Our research shows that Britain's environmental health officers are facing an unprecedented challenge as outlets reopen from pandemic. We've been given special access, but here's a warning. What they find may dent your appetite. Filthy premises, they're not doing any cleaning at all. First up, Ealing, West London, and a stomach-churning trail of evidence. There's droppings in these. It's all over here. There was obviously a level of pest activity in here at some stage, and it hasn't been cleaned. Mouse droppings on serving plates is bad enough, but what they find next shocked even these seasoned professionals. Okay. There's just like a bit of a mouse tail. OK, but you can see that's a tail of a mouse. Yes, you heard it right, a mouse's tail stuck to this pest control adhesive. And if you thought things couldn't get any worse in this restaurant, think again. I believe it is a dead mouse, um, but it looks to be there for quite a while. What we've seen you doing just now really highlights how important these inspections are in terms of protecting the public. Yet there's a big backlog now, isn't there? Unfortunately, due to COVID, there is that, that you know, serious backlog and we are working through the inspections and in line with the Food Standards Agency kind of um, getting back into our food inspections. Next, a restaurant that's such a danger to public health, it can't be allowed to stay open. So this cockroach trap was found under one of the front service fridges. I'd say there's at least 100 cockroaches between adult and nymph cockroaches on there. I don't know what that bug is, it looks a bit like a cockroach. We found an active cockroach infestation throughout the premises. There was live dead ones across food prep areas, fridges, freezers, things like that. Um, so unfortunately we had to make the decision to close that business today because of the imminent risk it posed to public health. The latest figures we've obtained from the Food Standards Agency show around 53,000 kitchens listed as a waiting inspection. It's more than a 200% rise in the 12 months to February, yet almost a quarter of local authorities are concerned they won't meet catch-up targets. Perhaps staff disruption caused by the pandemic has led to many of these dirty kitchen problems, or maybe places just thought they could get away with it because there have been so few inspections. Uh, that was disgusting. Oh. Norwich, here and across the country, environmental health officers switched focus to help with COVID measures. Inspections were put on hold. OK, so I'm looking at this seal, your fridge seal, and it's very, very dirty. Oh. The faceplate is filthy dirty. Look, if I do that with my finger, look. Yeah. That's not acceptable. Why do you think there is this increase in dirty kitchens at the moment? We've had almost two years of falling behind with our inspections. Places have been shut or have gone dormant over the, over the COVID period. Many are now struggling to come back with too few staff, not enough trained staff. Um, standards have slipped. Inspecting behind kitchen doors where customers can't go, the work of environmental health officers goes largely unseen by the public. But these are real consumer champions, and right now they're more needed than ever. Chris Choi, ITV News.